today I'm excited to say I finally got the Relic Blade two-player battle set from the Kickstarter. And uh, I was actually quite surprised to get it because they just said it they're shipping, I think, yesterday. And I got it today. I was really stoked to see it. So haven't opened it up yet, so let's see what's inside. Well, first let's look what's on the box. So here's the artwork that Sean did. Sean Sutter, Metal King Studio. That's the some good artwork there. And on the side kind of shows you the pigmen. And then of course some of the other stuff inside. There's a cleric. Then the heroes. Hopefully you can all see this pretty well. And then finally just kind of uh, another uh, thing on the side. And then finally on the back shows you what's what's in here. So very good box. It was one of the uh, the stretch goals was to get art on the box and it's very well done. Alright, let's see what's inside. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here we go. Nice little box here. Nice, keeps everything nice and safe. Not getting crushed. So I got a quick start guide. Very similar to what he has, that we had before. But just even better because, you know, it's not printed on some piece of paper that I used. Very good. His rule book, pretty much the same as before. Uh, and nice little illustrations inside. Very well done. Good quality. Good, good quality for for a book that you're going to be using a whole lot during the game. And the second book, because it is a two-player book. Got some cards. Uh, looks like maybe some relic cards. I don't know. These are the, uh, the special cards, maybe. <clears throat> so, Porter McScotch. Okay, I like him. <laughs> uh, Alright. Woggy Wogglebuck. Alright, cool. Some, some different guys than just the knight and the cleric. So, that must have been the extra set of cards. Uh, two, two decks of cards. Um, let's go ahead and just see if I can open one of these up real quick. Probably not since I'm on camera. Alright, so, so obviously here are my pigs. Here are the heroes, nice and labeled. We'll get to those in a second. Here's a thief. Uh, this is one of the stretch goals. Uh, Good quality metal. Let's pull it out of this thing. So, looks like it's two pieces. You got a little piece with the hand with the dagger there. Goes to the right hand. Very, very good. And, looks like the cleric. And his uh, his uh, extra warrior, his little warrior hammer up there. Very good. A little, little bit of flash, but not a whole lot of mold lines that I can see. It's good quality there. Again, a little bit, a little bit of things you're gonna have to cut. So it's not just straight up putting the base in the go. You'll have to do a little bit of maintenance. And here, this is probably the Dark Wanderer. One of the final stretch goals. And didn't really see much of him during the Kickstarter. So, looks pretty good. It's got a little book there hanging down. Just a little bit of flash. You can't really see probably too much on the camera. Good little, looks like you got some options with three arms. That's cool. Didn't know that was going to happen. Alright, so there's that. Okay, more dice, because every gamer needs more dice. Good job. I like that. Here are the tokens. Basically, they came right, came right out. So we got them. This just popped right on out. Uh, good little inch marker, and then 
some more of the tokens. Another, so it's two rollers, that's nice. And then markers for the relic, and some stuff for when you're dodging, evading. So good. Uh, he said that was the hard, some of the hardest things that he's worried about, and it looks like pretty good. Looks like you'll get a lot of good use out of it. Put these guys back in there. I have a funny feeling they'll be put together by the weekend. Let's we'll start with the pigs. They're all wrapped up. Got the wrap. And we have our six pigs. Here's our first one. Let's see how much I mess up on, on this. Alright, so here's the pig. I'll get some close ups later. Uh, for nice little tail at the end on his butt there. Good quality belt. Uh, there's enough details to make it nice. There's a little, you might probably can't see it at all, but there's a little notches in the axis here. There's enough detail to make it look good, but not too much to make it tedious to try and paint or something. Or too, it's not too busy. And I know I like a lot of models that have lots of details. And like Infinity models and some of the GW ones, but some of them can be a little too busy. These aren't, and I like that because it makes it very easy to paint, get out on the battlefield. Here's another pig. A little shield on his stomach. It's like a wrestler in his championship belt. And some options, different weapons you can put on there or have a shield. The pigs all kind of come with multiple options um, because they're two different kinds of pigs. Curve, this looks like the same as the first one I pulled out. This looks like a different one, so we'll pull this one out. So yeah, he's got lots of little tusks or something on his belt there, lots of little nubs. Uh, again, you have a sh bigger shield, so I guess that would be a buckler, not a shield. And then you got your cudgel and some other little weapons, so options, and you can always you have some extra bits. And if you're a gamer and you do miniature gaming, you like bits. It's uh, how you do like crazy conversions. So here we go with the heroes, we saved them for last. Again, very well wrapped up, good for transport, not just throwing together in the box. Taped up so much that I can't even open it. So, uh, didn't quite have to go get the fingers. Let's see who we got in here. Alright, here's Mr. Kniggett, the questing knight. Pretty much just one little, uh, one way of putting them together, no options. It's a two-handed sword, and again, I really like the backpack. Good good little details make it look like he's been out, he's an actual adventurer, not just out on the battlefield. He's there to get stuff and go home, not just win, win the battle, but to uh, get the loot. This must be the relic, so... Obviously, if we're predisposed to the relic being longing with the heroes, since they were in the, he's in the hero pack. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'll uh, definitely get a close-up on this. But it's a uh, skeleton, or the top half of a skeleton with a broken sword. And it's, it's a one-piece, so it just goes straight on to there. And pretty much done, just have to fill in the, the openings. And here comes the druid. Alright, I was wondering how he was going to do the bear. So here's the bear, two halves. And then just put it in. It's got little notches there. It goes in very, very easily. Yeah, that seam doesn't look like it'll be too noticeable once you put it in. Get it glued in, glued in nice and solid. And then the head. 
And finally, I'm the druid. Oh, then a paw to go with the bear. And then finally, the druid, who's actually... There might be an arm missing. Well, that's embarrassing. Or she... Unless that... Nope, that's not her arm. Um, okay. So there we are. We're missing an arm on the druid. It's actually kind of sad because it's my wife's favorite character. She likes playing druids in D&D. &D, and I was like, that will be my kid model for a game. So maybe it's hidden under here. Nope. All right. Well, it looks like uh, we will have to make a little phone call or email. Or he'll see this video. So with the clerics got a, a, and a thief I won't go right I went in with a friend and he wanted a thief and a cleric so um, there we are and also with the cards here but we should have two oh maybe not just the one um, I believe he also wanted a deck of cards now as I'm thinking about it, that's why I have two rule books, because my friend wants the rule book. He's probably laughing at me right now. Um, anyways, there we are with the, the, the box opening of uh, Relic Blade. I literally got this less than an hour ago. So, um, I'll have some close-ups of the models, like this cleric. And uh, we will uh, get the song for everybody to enjoy. If you have any comments or anything, uh, put them down, or you can contact me. Anytime. Uh, thanks a lot and happy wargaming.